Hey, um, have you ever heard the old saying, take your medicine? Right? When I was a kid, man, I, phew, cough syrup. Cough syrup tasted like ha, tar, right? It was horrible back when I was a kid. And you'd take it and it'd be like, and you'd have to take a swig of water or soda or something after to wash it down because it was horrible. It just tasted rotten, you know? And um, I think that sometimes in our lives, we need to hear those words, take your medicine. Um, medicine, even though it may taste rotten, uh, is helpful, right? It's supposed to help suppress your cough. It's supposed to uh, break your fever. It's supposed, right? There's all these things that medicine does, even though it may not taste all that great. And I think as we go through our lives, uh, we have to learn to take our medicine when we mess up. Uh, you know, when I was a kid, uh, somebody would say, hey, did you do this? No, I didn't do that. And darn well, I did it, you know? I was just a little guy, and I lied, flat out. It was a fib. It was just a big fib, right? And, and uh, as you got older, some of those mistakes that we made were a little bigger, and if people would call us out on it, it would be real easy to say, well, I don't know how that happened, you know? Uh, how did that dent get in the car? I don't know. I, I parked it in the parking lot, and I came out, and there was a dent. Uh, how did that window get broken? I don't know. Somebody threw a rock. I don't know who it was, right? And, and those things, uh, take your medicine. Own up to it. Take Take the hit, right? Take the pain that is going to come from somebody confronting us for making a mistake and doing something wrong instead of compounding it and making the lie that much worse. In the Old Testament, David uh, was out on the deck one night while his army was out fighting. Instead of him leading his army, he was just chilling at the crib, right? Right? And he looks down, and don't you know there's Bathsheba taking a bath up on a roof? And he's like, hey, Philly. And he calls for her, and she gets pregnant. Now, at that point, David should have been like, oh, man, I messed this up. I have got to own up and take my medicine and get confronted and take whatever penalties and whatever comes his way. He should have just manned up, right? But instead, he lies about it. He sends Bathsheba's husband up to the front lines, and he's killed, and he covers up that Bathsheba is pregnant before he dies, and then he takes Bathsheba as his wife. Compounds this whole thing, makes a huge mess of it all, right? As we go through our days, like we have the opportunity to be a role model, to be an example, to set the example for everyone. If somebody sees us mess up, we need to take our medicine, own up to it, tell people, yeah, man, you know what? I really made this mistake and I'm really sorry for it and I'm ready to atone for it. I'm going to do whatever I have to do to make this right. And then we go on. And people can look at us in one of two ways and say, what in the world is he doing right now? Or, wow, that was, that was awesome that he took ownership over his own actions and he dealt with it like he should have. As followers of Jesus, I choose to do the other. Shouldn't we all? May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen? Amen.